Hi everyone, my name is Peter and welcome to Our Worship Sound. As you use main stage and as your collection of sounds continues to grow, it becomes helpful to know how to move those sounds from one concert to another. I know as I was first starting to use main stage, I would keep all my sounds in one concert file and with more and more songs, that concert file got bigger and bigger and more and more cumbersome to use. So in this video, I'm going to show you a much, much better system for managing all of your custom presets and how you can save them and have them ready to pull into any concert that you want really quickly. So let me show you some examples. The first example I want to show you is how to save your custom sounds into one place so that you can quickly and easily bring them into any concert that you need. Here I have set up a patch that has multiple channel strips. And then there's a set with multiple patches, each one with multiple channel strips. The process for saving these is going to be pretty much the same. You select the item that you want to save, and you can either go up to the patch list actions menu and select save as patch. But what you'll probably want to do is get used to this keyboard command, command E, think E for export, and that's going to be much quicker. So you just do command E. And it's going to bring up a save as dialog where you can save this preset to any place on your computer. So I have this patches folder set up. I'm going to save this. Um, and I typically save my patches and sets according to the song in which I use them, not so much according to what instruments are in them. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's say this is the sound I'm going to use for the wheels on the bus. And it has marimba and brass. Kind of an unusual patch, but anyway. And then I'm going to save this in pretty much the same way. So just make sure that you have the folder selected and not one of the patches within the folder set. So again, Command E brings up the same folder, and I'm just going to save it as I am because that's the name of the song. I've already saved it as that. So now let's pretend like we're working with a different concert that doesn't have these patches assigned. Let's say that I'm getting ready to compile my sounds for uh, whatever concert or, or thing I'm going to play for, and I just need to bring in the patches or sets that I use for the songs I'm going to play. You can, again, go, you can again go up to the menu and select Load Patch or Set. It's probably going to be easier just to learn this keyboard and shortcut, Command-I, for import. So I'm going to do Command-I. And I'm going to bring in Wheels on the Bus, Marimba and Brass. And I'm also going to bring in I Am. And it's labeled as a patch, but it's going to show up as the set. So we'll give it a moment here. But there I have this um, sounds, um, and it's pretty easy to bring them in. So that's exactly how they were before. Now a couple things here is you might need to make sure that your hardware assignments are updated with this. If, you're, if there's anything different about the layout in the concert that you're doing, you'll need to make sure that those connections are made. The other thing is, as you're working with these in the new concert, if you make any changes to them, for example, let's say that I want to bring down the balance on the marimba for this uh, patch, it might be a good idea to go ahead and re-export that, either to overwrite the patch that was already there, or to save it as a new patch. So the current um, patch is, is represented there in your list. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to show you. One more thing that we can set up and save and, and be ready to export and import. And that is, uh, if you're like me, sometimes you're building new patches, but you want to use part of another patch that you used. For example, it would be pretty common for me when I'm working with the slow song is that I want to set up a delay line for my keyboard sound. And so instead of rebuilding this piano delay every time I want to do that, I can just save this piano delay as a channel strip, and then I can bring that into any patch that I want. So again, the process is really, really simple. Just select the channel strip by clicking on the channel strip name, and then go up to the setting, click and hold, and then when this comes up, select save as channel strip setting, and there's a different folder that's, that's set up. Um, it's wherever you have it selected on your computer, but I'm just going to type in piano delay, so this is according to the sound when it's a channel strip because that's what makes more sense to me. So now this is going to show up in two places. Either you can get it from the instrument channel strip selector under user, user channel strip settings. Or, um, so let's say I'm going to add it to this other patch. Um, I just need to click to add a new channel strip. It's going to be instrument channel strip. So again, I can select it from over here with piano delay. Or I can come up here to setting 
and come under user tra channel strip settings there and select piano delay. So again, pretty easy way just to keep track of all your channel strips as well as your patches and sets. I hope that was helpful. A couple things I want to let you know about is coming up on Wednesday, June 25th, I'm going to be doing a worship live stream from the studio using some of the main stage techniques as well as Ableton loops. And uh, my plan is to a few days after that release the, the main stage patches and the loops that I use in the live stream for free. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe on YouTube. Also visit Our Worship Sound to uh, subscribe to my email list so you can stay up to date on everything that's coming out. There's some big things in the works over the next couple months. So. Um, Stay tuned for that. So God bless. Thanks for watching. See you soon.